Over the past few months, people have been shouting, let's bring Oliver and Company and, and Pixelated Awesomeness and Lust for the Game put together the magic and bring you this movement. So, I'm gonna talk in this video how we could compare the likes, how this is Infinity's gonna win, and stuff like that. And I'm gonna give you the items that you need to have. This Infinity 3.0 or later with Oliver and company. First, let's go to the wins. This Infinity has increased fans a lot with Marvel, but imagine that the Disney, Oliver and company fans go to this Infinity because the figures. So that's the thing that I want to concentrate. This Infinity right now got 1 million likes and Oliver and company over 2,000 likes. If you combine them together, they got 1,376,300 likes. And that's a dog of money filled with a lot of fans demanding for for forgotten Disney films to go to Disney Infinity 3.0. And now for the Oliver and company items. So... Oliver and Company has a lot of items in the movie, but let's cover these power discs for now, and then the items that got to go to the Symphony 3.0. Number 1, New York City Skydom. I want to have the New York City Skydom because I want to have the feeling of 80s and 90s New York City in the Symphony 3.0. And with the song, Why Should I Worry? Because it's the best song ever. Just listen to the beat and you will fall in love with the movie without watching it. Seriously, I'm not joking. Listen to it right now. Fangus Bike Fangus Bike is one of my favorite powers because imagine putting up to 8 players in a car or a vehicle It's really fun how you can see the docks and Fangus Bike in the back and it's really fun watching it on the same if you got it for people now I will be really happy and I'm not the only one We do Facebook comments Disney Infinity, please. <laughs> New York City Central Park Terrain Disc. The New York City Central Terrain Disc or Central Park Terrain Disc or Street of Gold is one of my favorite. Well, we could say, because I would like to put my toy box in the way that the 90s did for New York. And it's really fun how other company handles. It's really fun. And imagine this under the Infinity 3.0. It's going to be epic. Fleet of Taxes team up. Fuck our buildings with taxis. In a fun way, it's one of the awesome creative discs that we have made for now, for Oliver and Company, may come for people now or later for Disney Infinity. So, Disney Infinity, take notes. Oliver's costume change, a way to put Oliver color in his neck and it will give him a nice look of a pretty cat. 
And now for the figure designs. The figure designs will be classy of the other main company style where Dodger with his shades and Oliver looking like confused and too little power this with costume change that will give Dodger's shades and hot dogs on his neck. Director moves. Oliver and Dodger could move in a certain way. For example, they can drive a car by grabbing the steering wheel and moving it with his paws. Or in case of a weapon or tool, he could just put it on his back and attack. And it's going to be really fun how fans will react to it. So, this is a pretty take another note. This is the end of the video, and I hope you like Oliver and Germany as much as I do. I hope you got your time to watch that movie and realize it's not that bad at all. It's one of the best Disney movies that Disney ever made. Oliver and Company on Disney Infinity soon. Now it's always once upon a time in New York City. It's a big old battle.